I'm Cormac McSweeney in Ottawa. One of the key themes out of this year's budget is about women in the workforce, trying to help women advance themselves in our economy, whether it be through extra child care spaces, extended maternity and paternity leave, or also measures to try and help women entrepreneurs or advance in leadership roles in the private sector. Now here to talk a little bit more about all of this is McLean's associate editor, Shannon Proudfoot. So Shannon, do you think these measures are enough to really help women advance themselves in the workforce? Well, it's going to help some women. So probably the big headline out of this as far as parental leave benefits goes will be the new choice between 12 months leave at a current 55% uh, salary top up or taking 18 months off at 33% of your salary. Now, as you can imagine, there's only certain couples who can afford to make that choice. And in addition to that, these programs are run through employment insurance. So there's only certain people who qualify. You have to have worked a certain number of hours and have a certain level of insurable earnings. So it, there is an income inequality piece here in that there are plenty of people, particularly women, those in sort of the so-called gig economy or precarious employment young people who just don't qualify so it will help some but it will arguably help the people who are already doing pretty okay and uh, it might not do much to help those who could really use more flexibility to make different choices all right so a lot of people in the middle class as the government likes to talk about who might not be able to benefit off of this what about child care spaces there's a lot of money going towards creating uh, possibly up to 40,000 child care spaces across the country yeah so that's a, a big ticket item if you're looking at sort of child issues seven billion dollars over ten years the problem is there's absolutely no detail on what this might buy and what it might look like on the ground they floated the idea as you said of 40,000 more subsidized spaces but that's almost sort of just a sample of what might be accomplished here they're looking to create some kind of framework that will sort of list priorities and and be about liaising between the provinces territories and the federal government so there's a lot of money on the table and there's absolutely no detail yet about what it's gonna buy All right there's also a caregiving benefit what will that do for families yeah this one's interesting so currently there's a benefit that is basically if you have a family member a parent or a sibling who is at end of life they're they're probably going to pass away in the next six months there's a current existing benefit but this new one is if someone is is critically ill or injured but they're expected to recover there's now a way for you to take time off to care for them um, so it's meant to give again more flexibility they do flag it as being specifically aimed at women who are often the family caregivers um, so it, it seems like the watchword in this budget as far as family responsibilities go is offering more flexibility but again the question is who it offers that flexibility to because that caregiving benefit is also administered through employment insurance so you also have to have a certain level of income and employment to qualify. All right, there's not just some measures being put forward by the government. Uh, there's also a gender statement in this budget and a commitment uh, that moving forward, a lot of policy will be taking uh, gender inequality into mind while developing these new measures. Uh, do you think the federal government can really legislate the changes that may be needed to help women in the workforce? Yeah, it's an interesting question. You probably need an economist or a social policy expert to answer it a little better than I. But clearly, this is an issue this government is very interested in, in, in wanting to seem pro active on gender issues. I personally have some mixed feelings about us continuing to treat things like childcare and parental leave as a niche women's issue because most kids have two parents and often it's one man, one woman, or at least a couple of partners. Um, so I guess the question is, are you helping more women to get in the workforce, stay in the workforce, earn more by giving them more supports for the existing structures, which still see women take on the lion's care of childcare, or sorry, the lion's share of childcare and, and care for other people in their families? Or would it be better to, to offer even more flexibility that, that is available to anyone that maybe could correct some of these patterns? Right, questions for the government to answer moving forward. Thank you very much. Shannon Proudfoot, Associate Editor with McLean's Magazine, and I'm Cormac McSweeney in Ottawa for City News.